Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Let's Play Galactic Civilizations 2. Last time we got the eyes of the universe, and now we can see all of our nice things. As you can see the massive sensor range, and oh, we've got the scavengers going around. Well, we've got one scavenger and the original flagship going around. So we should be picking up things at a much faster. Um, if the Nat 276 attacks the Lent. Lentzlandians Freighter M2 V159. The Lentzlandians will declare war on the Terran Alliance. No. A Nat must have explored into one. Uh, no. No. Hmm. Must have been several Nats exploring into one. We'll have to record them at some point, but uh, now we have the new sensor range. What we have to do is upgrade the, uh, the life support range a bit and we'll be able to explore loads of stuff really quickly. Which is good generally. Uh, what do we want to go for now? I mean, at this point we have to start questioning, do we want to maybe start gearing up for war? Which is tempting, though, you know, planter invasion is still a very expensive sort of tech. Um, I'm thinking we still hold off on that, try and keep people happy as long as possible, and maybe try and at least get one alliance before we have to start doing anything crazy like that. And instead just go maybe for the colonization. Could just go research academies, uh, get more. Let's see, what does this get us? This gets us the one per planet research coordination center, which increases uh, the research bonus. It's only relevant if you have, like, I don't know, four research academies, though. So, mm, we wouldn't really build many of them. But the research academies would be nice. Don't know how many of them we'd actually upgrade to. Certainly not in the short term. Uh, we just go building it if we want um, more powerful ships, bigger ships. Trade centers, the, those would just upgrade, yeah, the economic bonus on those various planets. We do have money, so we don't need to worry about money just now. Logistics, again, that's for fleets. Business is for influence, which would be nice. You know, we can we can, we can push on to um, uh, more, yeah, more influence, and these are all the things that I'd like, star-based things, and it, it, it's all good to have, it's all good to have. Xenoethics is, a, is, a, is an interesting one, actually. It gets diplomacy, which is good. And a trade good of harmony crystals, which are very nice to have. And then it unlocks good and evil, which allows you to finally um, like pick a side, as it were, between good, neutral, or evil. Uh, there's also this secret place, but that's not really relevant. And then once you're a good, uh, neutral, or evil, it unlocks a whole load of other things. But it does lock you in, and so it really, really makes the evil people hate you if you choose good, which I'm probably going to do. So I don't really think that's actually what I want to do right now. Uh, could just go more diplomacy, keep going that sort of route, could go up to democracy, uh, also, which comes with more diplomacy and stuff. Um, hmm, there are a lot. I do definitely want the soil enhancement at some point, it will be quite nice. Four turns. Mm, it's annoying because I have to go through all my plants, but yeah. It's only four turns now, let's go with basic soil enhancement, which will give us at least one more tile on all of my worlds, which will just make my entire empire just that tiny little bit better. Just a tiny bit though. And then maybe we'll look into colonization or stronger research to get the colonization faster, but I don't know if it's faster to go for the better research tech and then colonization or just straight for colonization. I just really don't know which would be quicker. Um, Right, one of the scavenger, let's launch it and automate it. So let's start going after all the things. We've got three stacked ships here for some reason. Let's uh, put them into a fleet and send another NAT over to join them. Make a, make a fleet of four, why don't we? Uh, so, yeah, I mean, a fleet of four NATs is still pretty terrible. It's only 20 hit points and four beam weapon damage, and that will go every time. Uh, five damage is done to it essentially if they if they focus fire they, they rarely do focus fire this we'll probably find um, and then we'll just move this fleet over to I don't know maybe we should place it somewhere specific let's, let's have this go and defend this mining station over here it's going to take a very very long time to get there but it'll explore a bit on the way Ooh, new agent how many, how many agents we make we don't need yeah we don't need that many that much money going towards agents let's just Drop it down to two percent, uh, and then sure, let's put it on the Achilleans. Wait, did that do it? No, I don't know what's going on. All right, all right, all right. 
What are we up to then? I uh, should probably do more trading at some point. Maybe maybe continue trying to get the Ar Archaeans, Arceans, whatever, on our side. Let's have a let's have another chat with them. It's still friendly. Maybe if I just give them something for free. Maybe if I give them the treaties. I'll make them powerful if they don't go with me then. We suddenly have a massive issue. Uh, let us... Tell you what, I'll be really nice. I'm going to give him a gift. I'm going to give him uh, sensors. And then we're going to go to the relations report. No, no, not that one. We were going to go to the... Viewpoint report? Here we are. Man on the street opinion poll. Their people have no real opinion of us. So they don't really care. Diplomatic? Uh, let me put it like this. If you say these aren't the droids you're looking for, they'll just repeat that. Whatever we say is great as far as they're concerned. So apparently they're pretty happy with us. But there is no uh, option to um, have an alliance yet. I don't recall if there's a specific thing you need for that. There probably is. Frankly, they probably need you know they probably need they probably need diplomatic relations. Because that leads into that leads I, th I think that leads into alliances, so maybe they need that to have an alliance. Let's try it. Let, let, let's, let's sell it to them. Okay. Well it didn't unlock it immediately. Um mm, I don't know. I don't I just don't know. Maybe they need interstellar governments. Oh, which unlocks alliances. Right, yep, yep. Trade that, trade that. There you go. Can have a cheat. Still no option. So maybe if I... Right, I have to go and talk to them in a few weeks. Uh, maybe we can get the crane on side as well. Let's have another chat with them. Do you want to buy any of these things? I think... Uh, let's try and get the beam weapon and stuff off them. Don't want that. Uh, let's sell them logistics. No, no, not, not, not logistics. The life support, maybe... Diplomatic relations, sensors. Alright, what if we just have the beam weapon research? Yeah, that doesn't cost much, does it? Let's go with basic life support and sensor tech. Maybe the basic extended life support as well, and that's a nice trade for us. So, just, just a little bit of a boost there. Just a little bit. Uh, and maybe the Drengen. If we can get them on side, that'd be amazing, though it's never going to happen. Let's just trade sensor tech Mach two with them, just to the, the, the more trades we have, just it just it just keeps them happy. I, I, th I think it just keeps them happy. They don't like to attack trading partners, and the dragon probably do out. And, uh, actually, I'm not sure what the. Let's check the military rank again. After we upgrade a starbase with more mining capability. Um, stats. We are the number one military, economic, and population. If, oh, and also the number one in influence and production. So right now, nobody should attack us. Compared to the people we're trying to make friends with, that we are considered more influential and more treasure and more economic, economy. Lower on popularity. Considering the amount of money we have, we might consider getting 100% approval. We don't require us to go down to, let's say, 15%. We're losing money, but everybody likes us. So, and because the approval's high, it should increase the tax base pretty, pretty quickly. So we'll try a few turns on 100 cent, I think. See if that's... Just see if it maybe tips things a little bit. We can afford it right now. If we need to, we can just stick it right back up and... Uh, and, and just tax Jesus out of them. Ooh, there's a planet right there. Bond 2, class 9. Uh, ooh, but we do have... Uh, Soul enhancement, we'll have to look into that. Um, you know what? I'm not waiting any longer. Where is the. Where is the advanced colonization? There. Let's just go for it. Ah, thank God. I was beginning to worry she was not in the game. Eli's Mew of the, of the Alterian Resistance. So these are, for some bizarre reason, humans that were not from Earth. They're almost identical, except they have a slight tattoo just to make them a bit different. They're good, they're nice, they're happy, but they're very militaristic, but they are very nice and happy and good, so they'll be nice with us, hopefully. Uh, and we can get the treaties off her. Let's give her the... Um, 
Where should we give her the... What do you call it? Install government? Yeah, that one. There you go. I should give her the uh, government tech, so maybe we can get an alliance at some point. So we'll send that. Ooh, they already have quite a bit of engine and weapon tech. Would you sell us laser one? Artificial gravity and a couple of these other things. You know what? Things I want an alliance with you, I am totally willing to do this trade. There. A little more weapon tech for us, just a little bit. And we might have a new friend. Neutral right now? We'll work on it. We'll work on it. Have to figure out where they're from though. Whereabouts in the galaxy are they? Can I... Yes, 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 yes. We're getting hundreds and hundreds of billions of credits. There they are. Why can I see them? I have no idea. Why can I see this one path here? I suppose my range is that far out, but I'm not sure which ship it's that far out for. It's rather odd. Mm, never mind. Maybe something to do with a spy. I don't know. Anyway, new designs, don't really want to use them. We could probably make a much more powerful ship than the Nat right now, but I don't think we're even building any. Probably check. Uh, this time, before I go clicking through menus, I'll wait for the turn to end, though. I've messed up everything. Like, randomly clicking. Well, not randomly clicking, but... Clicking too early before. Ah, good. And soil enhancement has started being built everywhere. Uh, it's automatically queued wherever you put it, so... You can see here it's already been queued up. Ah, uh, but it does mean that we now have to go through and make sure to go and build things everywhere from now on. So, what could Earth use? Galactic Guidebook? So all ships can survey? Not really necessary. Multimedia Center, not really necessary. Standard Research Center, I mean, sure. But, you know, well, Embassy. That's a lot of choices. That's a lot of choices. Uh, I am quite tempted by... Oh, it's just a factory, I think. We use, we use it to produce things, so let's have another factory. I uh, probably don't need another scavenger, though. Stop building scavengers, start building uh, constructors again. And we'll launch this one and send it off. Uh, what is Octavia 2 building? Oh, constructors, excellent. Well, let's send them all to this mining star base because this is the one that's most likely to be attacked in the short term. So we're going to want to put at least the first level of military stuff on it, I think. And also the rest of the mining things. And maybe uh, maybe an influence thing, just push it out a bit more. I don't know if we have access to them. Probably don't. Actually, I'm pretty sure we don't. But it doesn't matter. Okay. We could try and colonise one of these. I don't really want to. Again, I'm going for the diplomacy. I'm going for the diplomacy win. I do not want to anger anybody. Or start any unnecessary wars. You. Oh, I have an alliance with us. What am I missing for alliances? Ooh, that's good. Yeah, we want those. I'm going to trade them just for republics. You'll, wow, you will definitely trade them for republics. Let's uh, see if you'll take something a bit smaller like trade. Yeah. Okay, so we can now uh, upgrade all our economic planets with uh, better economic buildings. So, sure. Why not? You... Still on that 5% weapons bonus, but it won't be useful yet. Altarians, we've spoken recently. Kryn. Yeah. Tholans. Wow, that is very good. Yeah, i got to say, the Tholans have a lot of uh, unique techs that are very, very powerful. However, the AI is usually stupid enough to sell them to me. For maybe sensor tech? Dude, you just gave me 10% to my weapons and defense for sensors. Sensors! I mean, granted, I'm sort of losing my own bonus by giving out sensor tech, but they have to put sensors on their ships. I just get it automatically. That's the beauty of uh, the Eyes of the Universe thing. I just get to see everything. What are the Drengen doing up there? Also, that's a reasonable planet. Not barren, but, uh, you know, 
Class 13, can't really complain. The United Planets. Oh, what do you reckon we're going to be doing? What do you reckon we're going to be doing? Uh, I'm calling limit to... Oh, you know what all this is? I'm going to, I'm going to call... You're not allowed to put ships into enemy territory and then declare war. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call that. That usually comes up pretty early. Usually goes through as well. Tends to be a fairly popular one. Don't be a dick about things and declare on people while you've already stuck a load of ships outside the capital. So it's a dick moving like Civ or something. Uh, oh, no. In order to spread the equality throughout the galaxy, the resol this resolution would require that the civilization with the largest economy... Me to spend 5% of its monthly income for two years to subsidise other civilizations. The council has determined that the Terran Alliance is the economic leader and should share with others. Ah. For two years. 5% of my income. Now, <laughs> on a purely moral level, I am a tiny bit of a socialist, and I kind of am in favour of this sort of thing, of sharing wealth and, you know, being nice about things, but, yeah, no. Holy crap, that was pure no. Nobody voted yes, not even whoever's the would benefit most from it. These people really don't like hand up. There are very proud races in this game. Or maybe they didn't want to be the guy who, uh tried to steal from the might of the Terran Alliance because they think the Nats are going to come bite them which they could try to do but you know really wouldn't take much I mean like one level of uh, beam armor tech so one level of shields on any of your ships and the Nats are utterly mathematically useless as in there's nothing they can do I don't think it's even a random chance I think it is straight up blocked Maybe it isn't, but I think it is. I, I really think it is. I must be I must be wrong. That sounds too powerful. Though armor's heavy, so you know, you don't and you need weapons as well in order to have a fight. But, you know, maybe. Uh, right, yeah, you send that one to that mining starbase, and then uh that's probably gonna It might finish off this starbase, but we'll send uh, another one just in case. I'm gonna load up everything on it. I'm surprised no one else has built anything on the Ascension Crystals. Unless I'm just an idiot and I'm not recognising. But I could have sworn there's a pop-up if something like that happens. In the turn ends, we'll have a look at... Um, <coughs> have a look at... Uh, maybe the victory screen, I think, that has something to do with that on it. Let's see, Civilization Manager, victory. Uh, do, 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 do. Ascension victory. We have zero. And that's the Ascension victory. Yeah, nobody has anything on it. Tech victory, influence. These are all the victories, by the way. There's conquest, there's diplomatic, which is essentially conquest, except you, you allies with people. Though I think I did once manage to ally with everybody. I forget what I did to do that, but it's quite a good game, actually. I, I enjoyed it. Even And if you think it's an easy win, it really isn't. Because you have to make yourself very, very powerful to make yourself worthy of allying with everybody. So you still have to play the game pretty damn well. Okay. Mining plus 5%. Yep. Another mining plus 5%. Then let's put battle stations on. Which requires extra money. Which is good. Okay, so this is now a 48 hit point 111 without any defences. That harvests a shit ton of stuff. Uh, not exactly... Sure, how much? Install modules, find a 5, mining plus 5, minus plus 4, mining plus 5. It, it does a lot. It does a lot. And apparently, perimeter scanners. Because why not? Probably entirely unnecessary, but it's on there. Hmm. So that is definitely our Sin Empire. Lucky Empire. Uh, oh, the Carinoids. Nothing but armor tech. Stop it with your bloody armor tech, I don't, nobody wants it. But will you trade trade for 10% of your money? <laughs> oh dear, that's far too powerful. I think diplomacy in this game is probably far too powerful. I don't care, I'm still going to keep using it. Ooh, that's a class 12 I can go on to. But I'd be butting heads with the Thalens to do it. Oh no, I don't want to do that yet. 
that's how, that is properly out there. I would never be able to defend that if the Tholans decided they wanted. Is it the Tholans or the Thalans? I'm going to say whichever I happen to say whenever I say it. Okay, one more turn and then probably call this one. Ah. Found an anomaly with nothing on it. And apparently all the anomalies are gone. Hmm. I built too many scavengers. Oh, I know a spare colony ship actually. Uh, a spare constructor. So that one can go uh, down there. Uh, this one, with these two, can go yeah, down there, I suppose. How many? I didn't build any more, did I? Did I? There are other bases you can build. I could just like go out and build a military base in order to ex extend my uh, life support range. And there's various economic bases I can build, but the the ones on the resources are the best to start with. I think, maybe, probably isn't. Anyway, thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, had a good, pretty good episode this time, I think. You know, met some people, uh, met some friends. It it all went quite well. So thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>